This is my 1966 Volkswagen Beetle. The question I get the most is, what is wrong with my rear wheels and why do they have that angle on them? There's nothing wrong with my rear wheels. Here is what happens. Here's my Beetle, and for this example, those pink things are my tires, right? So if we take the car away, these are my tires, this is my transmission, and these are my axle tubes. The wheels don't pivot on the axles, the axles pivot on the transaxle. So, in my pretty pink little world here, if you can imagine this was real, when you lower the car, you're gonna change your camber angle and make it all like that. So my rear end's not broken. If I were to lift the car, it would look even worse. I had a guy pull up to me at an intersection once and tell me that my control arms in the back are broken. All you can do is say thanks. Thanks for letting me know. It's too low and too narrow to put it on an alignment rack, so you gotta do it yourself in your garage with a two by four. I got gauges in the glove box to let me know how much air is in the bags. And I got my switches under the dash this is the pump. This is the front. Up. Down. This is the back. And up. This is just an auxiliary power charger for my phone. Under here is my air tank. I got one by air pump, a pressure gauge for the tank. That is the pressure switch for the pump. These are my four valves. This is to air up the front, to air out the front, to air out the back, and to air up the back. This tube right here is connected to a valve so I can drain the tank to let the moisture out. And these are for the pressure gauge in the front. I'm not going to get into the whole how the front end of this car works, but basically there's one airbag and that's on the passenger side and then there are chromoly tubes going from the passenger side to the driver's side so that the whole thing will go up. The reason for having only one bag on the passenger side is there's no room on the driver's side with the steering box and I didn't want to have to cut up the front end in order to get a uh, airbag in the middle. I also added caster shims onto the front beam to kind of help my suspension geometry in the front be somewhat okay. The back end has notched and extended spring plates and that helps keep my toe in check and also allows the car to go low without interference from the spring plates hitting the frame. The spring plates are like a second pivot point other than the axles and it rotates around that point so when you go lower it actually pulls the wheels forward and then that's going to throw your toe angle off. So they're extended to push the wheels back so the toe's not going to destroy my tires, the camber will. The rear wheels are 8 inch by 15 inch, they've been widened 4 inches, they barely fit. I had to roll my rear fenders to get the tires to fit and even now you can barely get anything in there. It even rubs if you're too low. 195, 60, 15's in the back. 155, 60, 15's in the front. The front wheels are five and a half inches wide by 15's. They've been widened an inch and a half. The airbag kit was made and installed by Sam at Valley Auto Works. I will leave a link in the description to the photo album of that being installed.